Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Oscar here, bringing you a tour of our now complete modern house. Now, we've been working on this house for quite some time, but it is finally complete, and it's time now to tour it and hopefully inspire you to create your own beautiful modern house. Now, if you've enjoyed the series so far, definitely leave a like rating so I know you guys like the series, and let's get this tour underway. All right, and welcome back, and look at the s'more house from above. Doesn't it look amazing with all the different landscaping elements coming together? I think that looks really cool. So as we tour the build here, I would love it if you guys let me know what your favorite build within the project was. So if it's a living room, exterior, garage, anything along those lines, definitely let me know as we tour it what your favorite was. It helps me kind of understand what you guys liked and what your you know favorite things were so we can make videos better in the future. And there's good old Jelly here keeping an eye on the exterior and of course CAD Defense Force keeping any of the Bob Building Creeper Inspectors at bay. So as you can see from the exterior, we can kind of see all the different little elements have come together finally where you can peek through the windows and see the interior rooms and that's kind of where I want to start here on the exterior how you can see the two balconies and how it all kind of flows together and on the upper levels you can see how all the rooms are very very open so you can see into them and then we talked about you know how privacy works within the house and it's kind of an imaginary thing but uh, with uh, some houses in the real world there is these windows that can be electrically charged and the uh, glass can go opaque and uh, that's kind of the theme we have here to maintain privacy but also keep an open and airy feel and that's kind of my goal was to have really open windows very modern feel to it and uh, i think that came out really well as you can see and you can just oh i just love looking out those windows out throughout the entire world i think it looks very beautiful and of course this is our garage with all of our trees and plants all built up and looking very beautiful so are you guys ready to go inside? Because I definitely am, and it looks like Bob oh, the Creeper Building Inspector is blocking our entrance. Now, is the house up to code there, Bob? Can we get through here? Can we get through here? <laughs> All right, we're just going to have to squeeze by him. There we go. And welcome to the uh, flare of the house. And, of course, look at that staircase. That is my favorite element of the house, besides any particular room design because I think it really kind of sets the tone of the whole house in design as it's got that cool little uh, kind of lattice work um, design with the marshmallows going up here and then of course the graham cracker going along and then the dark chocolate on the bottom I think looks very very beautiful and over in the corner here you can see one of my very own paintings adorned with some couches and plant life and now let's uh, start looking through some of the rooms and we're about to enter my personal favorite room of the house and that of course is the twitch streaming room because what house wouldn't be complete of course without a Twitch streaming room. Let's take a look at some of the elements. As you can see, we've got a boom arm for our microphone, of course, and then we have our triple monitor setup keyboards and this little thingamabob here, whatever that thingamabob does. I guess it just does thingamabob things. And of course, we have our webcam lighting and all sorts of good stuff and the green screen in the back. And yeah, this is my personal favorite room of the house. And I think it came out quite nice. Now let's move on over here to a small half bathroom off of the entrance of the house here. We got a little toilet. And of course we have our mirror and some shelving units. And our lighting is under the carpet there to keep lighting concealed. And then we move into our living room. Now this particular living room was a little bit of a different design for me. We tried a few different designs within the modern realm. Of course with this chandelier and the different style couches. And I think it came out pretty nice. And especially we have these beautiful windows overlooking the world and eventually we'll have more houses out there to look at. And then we have a little coffee table and I think this room came out really nice, especially with the uh, different kind of designed chandelier. Now in our modern house that we did underwater, we did a similar chandelier design that I think came out really cool. It was more themed towards jellyfish. And we move into our second sitting room just off of our dining room. So before you head into your dining room, you have a nice little sitting area before the food is ready. And you got a nice, beautiful chandelier, of course, and a wall of windows. I love that wall of windows. It looks like just little blocks and all sorts of cool stuff. I love that. And then we can just see all the different designs of furniture. Now, one thing with the house is I wanted to try a couple different furniture designs to give you guys some inspiration. So we have about three different living room sitting areas that have all completely different furniture types. So uh, let me know which one of these furnitures you guys like better. So there's this one here we're looking at now, the one we just looked at, and then we're gonna look at one in the future in just a minute. And when this moves in, of course, to our dining room, 
And as you can see how the flow of this room, let me fly up here a little bit, how the flow of the house kind of works as there's the entryway, we kind of move into this sitting area, then that transitions to the dining room just above there. I think it all kind of came out pretty cool. We used a great uh, sense of space through here to kind of fit in these three rooms into the smaller area of the house. And then of course, this is our dining room. We have our chairs and of course our table. And then we have, you know, this. I love this design. We did it for our underwater house. Um, this design with the, you know, the chair on the back here with the carpet up there. And that looks very beautiful. And then moving on over here, this of course is our kitchen. Now we have our beautiful range hood. We have our refrigerator. You guys want the refrigerator? I added the refrigerator and we have an island. And as you can see how our lighting comes down and then we use the half slabs to kind of cut the windows in half. And I think that looks pretty nice. And of course, my friends, what kitchen wouldn't be complete without a milkshake maker? Look at it over there. Look at that thing. It's just beautiful. Just ready to whip up ourselves a little milkshake action. But yeah, I think the uh, the kitchen came out really nice. And as you can see, the flooring, I went with snow. And the reason I went with snow was to have this design where we could have it look like it just steps down ever so slightly. And I think that looks really cool. See how that little lip in the design? Just to add that little extra dimensionality to it. And I think that came out really nice. And of course, here is our third family room, living room style room. And of course, this is the other style furniture that I was talking about in just the uh, a few minutes ago over there. So let me know which one you guys like, the first one, the second one, or this is the third one here. And of course we have a beautiful fireplace in the center and then lots of detail in the windows and things of that nature. And as you can see the crown molding modern design around the ceilings and of course how we have the hardened clay sign of course up on the ceiling. And then down below we have different types of woods and carpeting just to give everything lots of different textures and feels to it and of course this is our garage and i love making garages it's fun to think of how a minecrafter would live in the house we're not so much trying to make a real world where we live in but we're trying to take some inspiration from our world and then combine it with the minecraft world and that's where we do horses instead of actual cars in minecraft because a minecrafter doesn't get around by car he gets around of course by horse so let's move on over here. We have our garbage cans, our recycling bins, got some uh, Christmas and Halloween decorations stored in the garage, got a little work area, got some ladders and all sorts of good stuff. We have our, you know, some storage up here, some different little doodads and things of that nature. And of course, the saddest thing in the entire house, that's a broken milkshake maker right there. They couldn't throw it away, the homeowners. They were too sad, so they had to store it in the garage. It's, it's tragic, really. Anyway, let's move on to a happier note and let's head upstairs. So. You might notice some of these cool wall decorations throughout where we've taken some of the milk chocolate wood and of course some of the plant life and kind of combined. I think that makes for a really cool modern design. And whoa, that's a lot of creepers up here. That's a lot of creepers. But anyway, let's head into our office. Now, as you can see going through the upper level, you can see the beautiful windows overlooking the world. We have our skylights and of course our desk and you know your books and your all your little gizmos and sound making machines down there. You got your computer and all sorts of good stuff. And I don't think an office could be complete, of course, without a milkshake maker. You got a little refrigerator down there for all your different ice creams and things. Uh, all right, I love it. Ha <laughs> ha. So this is a nice little design here. You can look out over the staircase and of course a way out into the balconies. Now let's go in here. Now this is designed to be more of a teenager's room and it has a connecting doorway into a bathroom. And then just over here, we have a, you know, a smaller kid's room here with bunk beds. And this also connects to that bathroom but let's start with the teenager's room here and we'll move into here and you can see the beds all set up and ready to go we got a tv mounted onto the wall we got some cool skulls we got a clock of course and uh, yeah i think this room came out really nice and of course we have all these beautiful windows overlooking now let's go into the bathroom and as you can see the bathroom's all set up and ready to go and this is one of my favorite designs like we talked about earlier in the kitchen where we have this indented design into the ground with the snow and of course we have a hopper for a drain and then we got all the details that you need of course for your bathroom all set up and I think that's really cool and like you talked about you just push a little button and the entire window goes opaque and you push it again the electric charge releases and the uh, glass becomes clear once again kind of a cool design saw that a long 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 time ago I want I think it's a real thing like I think that's an actual thing but 
when I saw it, it was kind of a prototype. Anyway, um, we have our bunk beds all set up and ready to go. And that's one of my personal favorite bunk bed designs as of now. And you got some blocks and some toys and some clothes. And I love these. It's just some decorations to make it look like a kid's room. You got a little TV, some books, and all sorts of great stuff. I think that room really came out well. And let's move on over here to our master bedroom. So this, of course, is the master bedroom. We have our bed, a beautiful design behind the bed. And I think that looks nice, flanked by two windows, got a skylight, and you can see out into the outside through another door leading out to the balcony. There could use some tables and chairs out there, maybe eventually. And then we have a nice couch, some beautiful shelving, very modern. And then there's a closet over here for some, you know, you got your clothes in there, all set up and ready to go. Now let's work our way over here into the bathroom. So we got our bathroom with, of course, that same design down below here. We got your on and off switches and, oh, you know, Creeper, you know, Bob the Building Creeper Inspector, everything is up to code. You don't have to worry. So I'm going to have to ask you to please leave. Thank you. Yes, out of here. Go away. Look at him. He listens to me now. Amazing. Anyway, um, we've got our sink, our mirror, and a little hot tub here to sit down and relax. And so that is our interior. So definitely let me know, guys, what was your favorite room or design within this particular house? Now it's time to head out to our backyard and front yard to kind of look at all of the beautiful designs that we created for our landscaping. Now with a little magic, let's create a beautiful sunrise. And that looks like a perfect time to transition into our landscaping. And as you can see, we have a road now built up. Now, it's not all the way connected throughout the world yet, but it's getting there. We have gutters, we have sidewalks, street lights, and I think that's coming out really nice. So as you can see how the lawns meet up and all the different plant lives and all that stuff works together out in this exterior area. And the house is slightly elevated off the ground. That's a design that I'm trying to incorporate into more of my builds is to add a little more verticality to the world. And I think that's gonna look really nice to create these very terrace designs. And as you can see, the walls on the sides of the house looking very beautiful, transitioning through a fence way. And the fence leads into our home garden of the house. This is where the homeowners, you know, have some home gardening. They got their beans growing off some trellises here. They've got their carrots and potatoes and all sorts of good stuff. Over here, they've got their melons growing, scarecrows and cornfields. And of course, over here, they have their tomato cages and some sunflowers looking very, very beautiful. So let's sneak on over here and take a look at the backyard from here. I think this is a really great kind of view looking out over everything. You can see the lawns, the trees, the pool, of course. So let's um, let's go walk down here. Excuse me, rabbit. I'm sorry, I just stepped on the rabbit. Anyway, uh, let's work our way down to our pool. Now, this pool is a lap pool. It's designed to be kind of a competitive pool. As you can see, it's got all the trappings that you would want for a competitive swimming pool. You have your block, you have your, uh, got your beautiful seamless gutters, you have your flags, you have your lap pool designed line down the middle. And this is my favorite, one of my absolute favorite elements of the house. And personally, I want this in real life. Doesn't, doesn't as a swimmer, if you're a swimmer, doesn't this look amazing? Aren't you just like, I want that. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, move on here and you can see the beautiful lawns and landscaping throughout here leading into of course the koi pond now the koi pond is all built up with ladders or not ladders but bridges and bridges not ladders scar and you have your waterfall and of course all the rock and all the different things you would expect from a beautiful koi pond and you can see all the neat little trees and details and things of that nature now let's work down here and as you can see we have our lawns and our custom oak trees and our plant life leading right into our basketball court. That's right, every house I like to do a pool in some form of a sports court. And this particular design, this got a basketball court. And that chicken, look at how excited he is. He's running right up there. Maybe he's gonna uh, ask that, uh, that rabbit there if he wants to pick up a game or play a little basketball. No, nope, rabbit doesn't wanna play one bit. Anyway, um, as you can see, we got a pretty uh, good setup as a kind of regulation court built up here. And of course we have our basketballs or basket block like we called it in the episode because well, it's not a ball, it's, it's, it's a block. Um, we have our hoop set up, we got our nice glass, we have our net built up in there, got our benches on that side, and of course a little holder for our basketballs. And yeah, so that is the modern house, my friends. And I 
can't tell you how much fun it was to build this house. And I really, really hope that you guys have enjoyed the journey of the whole process of building it. These take a long time to build, but I try to just put as much as I possibly can into the builds. And hopefully that shows and you guys have enjoyed it and were inspired to build your very own or just inspired to build, you know, anything in Minecraft. That always makes me so happy to know that my videos have helped in some way inspire you to work in Minecraft and building. And well guys, this has been Good Times with Scar, and if you enjoyed the video, a like rating would be very much appreciated, or share it with a friend. Uh, maybe they might enjoy Minecraft building, so share it with them. And until next time, and the next project, my friends, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later.